So during our last lesson, you should have started working on topic four, working with ICT for your unit three or your IT three theory. And we specifically concentrated on tele working or tele commuting. In today's lesson, we're looking at the second element of working with ICT and code of conduct. So you should have already been set the code of conduct task as an assignment by your teacher. Again, if you haven't, send them the chat message and make sure that they do that for you or ask them to do that for you. So the second element of topic four is all relating to a code of conduct. Now, a code of conduct is to do with how you conduct yourself or how you behave within the workplace. And it's a set of rules or obligations that the employer expects you to follow during company hours. So your first task is to watch this video on what is a code of conduct. So if you do that now, pause this video and then come back when you've watched that video. So now that you've watched the introductory video, it's time to move on to the first task. So if you scroll down to the potential problems, um, there are seven potential problems listed there. Um, that you might have in the workplace when you're constantly using ICT. So we might have employees misusing the ICT, introducing viruses to the computer network or system, using an organization's printers for personal work, and so on. So your task or your first task is for all of the above seven points, we need to add expansions or maybe examples to these. So create two, uh, a table with two columns and eight rows. And then in the first column, if you have the potential problem as your heading, and then in the second column, if you have the heading, uh, maybe expansion or example, and then in that column, you can give an example or an expansion of misuse of ICT in the workplace. So for the first one, I would have as the potential problem, misuse of ICT in the workplace. And then in the expansion or the example, column, I might say something like employees um, accessing their social media accounts during work time using the work computer system. So now you've created the first table for potential problems with using ICT. We can move on to the second task, which is to create a second table, but this time relating to contents of a code of conduct. Now, a code of conduct is a set of rules that an employee needs to follow when they're accessing the company's ICT resources. So I would suggest using a new Word document, this time creating a table with two columns and nine rows. One of the headings would be contents of a code of conduct. And then the second column heading, I would suggest would be um, rule or example. And then responsibilities would be your first um, heading under content or your first item under content and then under your rule or example you might say it is the employee's responsibility to ensure that they're using the company's ICT equipment and resources appropriately. So again you need to do the same thing for the remaining seven uh, code of conduct points and then come back to this video once you've completed that task. Okay, so you've completed two tables now, or two of the tasks for this topic on the potential problems of using ICT in the workplace, um, some potential rules for a code of conduct relating to your responsibilities, respecting the rights of others, and so on. And now your final table will be some details on the penalties for misusing ICT equipment in the workplace. So you need another table. This time it needs to be two columns by five rows. Your first column heading will be penalties for misuse. And then your second column heading will be either expansion or examples. Your four penalties will then be listed in your penalties column, informal warnings, written warnings, dismissal and prosecution. And then you will need to add some extra detail to your example or expansion column. This time, there's a link to a website there that you can use to help you do this. Once you've done this task, you come back to this video and we'll discuss the next task. 
So now you've completed all three of the tables relating to codes of conduct. You can have a go at the exam question. You can type up the answers to this exam question on a Word document. That's absolutely fine. If you want to, and it would make sense, you can copy and paste the question as the question's actually pasted onto this assignment as an image. So if you copy and paste the question onto your Word document, you can then type your answers at the end. Once you've answered the exam question, have a look at this video, some lighter uh, amusement to finish off the topic. And then once you've done that, just make sure you save all three tables and your exam question answers into your theory file. So you should have a folder called Unit 3 Theory or IT3 Theory. In there, it would make sense to have a subfolder called Topic 4. And then in your topic four folder, if you wanted to, you could have another subfolder called codes of conduct and in there save your three tables and your exam question answers. Once you've done that, that make sure please that you upload all three tables and your exam question to the assignment and turn it in.